Hello and hi, welcome to Yedidashofet.net and welcome to Parshat Nitzavim. This is the last Parsha of the year before Rosh Hashanah, and we started off in a very interesting manner. We say the words, Atem Nitzavim Hayom, that you are standing here today. And what's going on in this Parsha? Moshe Rabbeinu was saying the final accounts of things that will occur, and that certain uh, mishpatim, certain laws, that you have to actually take care of yourself, that you are in a certain covenant. So, it's very interesting that in many instances, Moshe Rabbeinu usually refer to the crowd that you are here, that you are part of this, that you are uh, the congregation. However, we use the terminology, Atem Nitzavim Hayom, that you are standing today. That means all the other times they weren't standing, what is the idea of Atem Nitzavim Hayom? So what is so significant about standing? When you look, Bezrat Hashem, God willing, on Rosh Hashanah, you're going to see all you standing, sitting, standing, sitting. By Sedichot, standing, sitting, standing, sitting. What's the idea? What is so special about the fact of a person that stands when he's going to say his tefillah, stands when he's going to actually listen to Torah, stands when he's going to actually, for a Sefer Torah, when a Torah comes in the room, that he stands up. What does this show? We call it the sense of respect. But how is that a respect? So there's something very beautiful. The night in which Shabbat falls out on, Friday night, we say the whole tefillah, and then we say, after the, the, the hash, after the silent prayer, we say the words, Vayichulu HaShamayim. When we say the words Vayichulu HaShamayim, we're attesting to the creation. We're attesting as witnesses. And the halakha that's by that area, it says one thing. Besides for the fact that you, have, you stand up, besides for the fact that you're there as witnesses, you stand up as witnesses. That that part, if you are not feeling well, out of all the things that you should stand, stand up for Vayichulu. Why do you stand up for Vayichulu? It's because when you attest as a witness, when you actually stand up you're showing something called vigilance. What is vigilance? It's the meaning of being ready. Being ready to do the avodah, being ready to serve, being ready to actually do what has to be done. For instance, when you stand up and you see a Sefer Torah come, you're showing that I'm giving the respect. If the Torah needs to go somewhere, normally what did they used to do? When the Torah used to, used to walk, people used to walk behind the Torah. So it wasn't just standing up just for the Torah. People used to walk for the Torah. When the father would come in the room, what would people do? They wouldn't just stand up, but they would stand up and go towards the father and say, listen, Dua, can I help you? Can I bring you something? The whole idea behind Atem Nitzavim is to say that, look, you have to be vigilant. You have to be ready in order to accomplish whatever that has to be done. And the only way that you can do that is if you're in a state of Nitzav, if you're in a state of being vigilant. Today, it's different. It's not anymore just listening to all the laws and all the britot, all the covenants. But today is a day in which that you're going to actually stand in order to do the mitzvot. You know, at the times of the civil war and other, and other uh, factors in, in U.S. history, they called certain people minutemen. Why were they called minutemen? Because they had to be ready within that minute. They were the most vigilant people. What did they used to do? They used to mostly sleep in their soldiers' clothing. A lot of them used to do that. Why? Because they wanted to be ready at the instant. The idea behind this is that when you are ready, when you stand, you're showing that, okay, I'm set. Ready, set, go. And the only way that, that you can actually do something is if you're in a standing position. And that means that if you're going to sit down, the Torah comes, or someone's going to ask you something, you know, if you're sitting down, you're, you're not exactly so into it. You stand up, you show that you're actually ready. You're ready to perform. And another idea behind this is, when you look at the Ten Commandments being given, when the Ten Commandments were given, what happened over them? Everyone was standing and listening to the voices. Was standing and listening to the beautiful tefillot, the commandments that, God's were giving, that God was giving us. What is it so significant about telling about people who are standing, it's because they were once again vigilant. They were ready to do. When we say na'aseh nishma, that we are, we'll do and we will listen. We'll do it because we're ready. The idea of atem nitzavim hayom is that you have to show that you are ready. 
And for this Rosh Hashanah, the reason that this parsha is right before, it's a beautiful reason, is that the words Atem Nitzavim Hayom equals to the numerical value of 694. And if you add all of the words of La'amod, uh, Laslichot, it also equals to 694. And when you equal each other out, it says that you're standing to do Sidichot. You're standing in order to begin for the Sidichot. Meaning that you're realizing this is the last parsha before the year. And you are ready in order to attain that accomplishment by only being vigilant. And when you, when you start off this Rosh Hashanah, and when you think about what must be done for this new year, when you're setting your new resolutions, you're going to set it in a set moment, in a, in a vigilant way, in a way that we call being proactive. That is the idea of Atem Nitzavim Hayom. That is the idea of what it means in La Amod Aslichot. That is the, the fact of why today we are standing. We're standing today because we realize it's the time of showing who we are. And I want to wish you a beautiful Rosh Hashanah, a beautiful new year, a year filled with happiness, a year filled with joy, a year filled with your heart's content in all goodness. Amen and Shabbat Shalom.